We back for another video, y'all. You already know who it is, man. It's boy Jippy, if you ain't. We about to make this quick video, man. I just wanted to show y'all a little bit of gameplay. Multiplayer. Don't want y'all to think that I'm not posting. Uh, and if y'all want to see some 2K, comment down below. But if anything, I'll be posting some 2K tonight. I'll only be posting one video, though, because I, I don't want to edit too much. It's a bad decision right there on my part. He's impatient. You always got to play the impatient people just like that, y'all. That's a little tip in Call of Duty. There's a whole bunch of impatient people that think that they're nice. And they really don't wait for kills. And that right there was a perfect example. Beautiful save for my team. I almost got wrecked. over to my SMG. I'm tired of this dude beating me in gunfights. That's another thing y'all need to work on. Well, that I need to work on. is like on small maps, I need to use close range guns.
Look at this dude, bruh. They play so weird on this game, man. I'm trying to tell y'all. Y'all just gotta be aware. Such as that dude right there. I'm about to flank behind him. Before I get there. Kill my kills. Cool. Sorry, teammate. I stole your kill. Nice little gameplay for y'all right there, 16 and 8. Like I said, man, I ain't really worried about my KD in this game. I just play the game. Sometimes I have great games. Sometimes I have decent games like this one. And then I have above average, below average. You know what I'm saying? It all depends. Usually I don't go super negative, though. That's one thing. I always hold a 1.0 or higher. But like I said, kill death ratio does not matter to me this year. Unless you're using probably one specific gun, it's the only way you're going to obtain a 2.0 or higher. But thanks for watching, man.